looking pretty lively for a dead guy. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut, and then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commission will give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Head for cover. I'm assuming we are we are. That's him. For cup. Ain't more than us. All set to take him out.
Here, over here. Let's see if you bleed red. Fuck me. About <laughs> you cut like butter. <laughs> Gonna break him in half. Come get me, boy. Spider one, boy. That shit's all him. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Shit. 
sure didn't numb in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Nah, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, it's pretty much whittled me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. <laughs> 